Well, we have a pizza. Sunday nights, it's always something easy like pizza delivery. You can get anything delivered to your house. For years, it was only a letter in the mail, but now Publix will bring groceries. You can get an amazing pizza. Amazon delivers our whole life right to our front door. How would you feel if someone delivered to you a letter from the Apostle Paul? Now we can send a letter across the country and do it overnight, but in the Bible, someone would have to carry that letter. I think you would be excited to get a letter from the Apostle Paul. Surely, the church in Corinth was excited when a letter arrived until they started reading it. Paul sent them a very difficult letter. In fact, he, he says in chapter 7 and verse 8, he says, I caused you sorrow by my letter. And the reason he caused them sorrow was because there were things he had to address. He was loving, but he spoke the truth. And in this difficult letter, letter uh, the Corinthians were convicted about different things they were doing in their lives. And so Paul says, even though it caused you grief, it caused you sorrow, he says, I'm happy because it was a sorrow that led to repentance. Verse 10, godly sorrow brings repentance and that leads to salvation. That's why you can't always just tell people what they want to hear. You have to speak truth and address issues that perhaps they, they need to hear. Last Sunday after I preached my sermon, someone in the church walked up to me. We both had on our masks. And he said, you've been preaching some hard sermons lately. And I said, I'm sorry? He said, don't apologize. Uh, it's exactly what I've needed. Sometimes you need to speak to people a difficult word, and if it causes them sorrow, maybe it is a sorrow that will lead to repentance and, and thus salvation. So, so that's what he's talking about in this letter. But he talks about another grief, and it just stood out to me when I was reading it uh, today. In verse, in, in verse 6, he says, God who comforts the downcast comforted us by the coming of Titus. So this is a different kind of sorrow. Uh, one translation says, the New American Standard says, God who comforts the depressed. But how did he say he was comforted? He said, by the coming of Titus. I just want you to be sensitive during this difficult time that we're all facing with a pandemic and so many other issues in our nation. Uh, there are a lot of people that are depressed. They've been isolated from other people. And when a person is depressed, there's a lot of things that go into it. And I, and I understand that. But one of the most comforting things is simply the presence of another believer. So maybe there's someone you haven't talked to lately and you're just not sure how they're doing. A phone call, a text message, if you could visit with them in a socially distant way just as it was for the Apostle Paul, who wrote 13 books in the New Testament, he needed to be encouraged, even a godly man like him. And he said, God comforted me when I was downcast through Titus. Be a Titus for someone today. Be the comfort that they need. I hope you have a great day in the Lord, and we'll see you tomorrow in 2 